Hi guys, my name is Lena Simakno and welcome back to the Love Boat University YouTube channel. There are a lot of, you know, day in my life videos out there that are made by university YouTube, um, YouTubers, but not a lot of people talk about what's going on underneath and the struggles that they face mentally. Um, yeah, and I've already expressed before that I love like talking about mental health and I'm a big advocate for like being honest with what you're going through and honestly I've been struggling with loneliness and even as a third year student that thing still creeps up on me um, having like a whole house to myself and being back in the Netherlands where everything is very quiet you know I stayed for like two months in Hong Kong a week in Jakarta so those are also very loud and busy cities and now I live in a very small village and I go to school in a relatively small city compared to the bigger cities that I've lived in so yeah that can definitely creep in and my first day back I remember like my first night I didn't even want to go upstairs because I have like multiple floors in this house um, I honestly only went upstairs to take a shower and quickly like scan the rooms and then I went back downstairs because it was like so much room and so little like human life that I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm going to give you some tips that I've learned and hopefully can help you with loneliness because it is such a huge, huge topic that everybody goes through but nobody brings up like it's only a thing that first years talk about after like maybe the Christmas holiday or before um, when things get wintry and sloshy and just not great with the weather you know but it's honestly something that you will struggle with for a very long time so here are my tips number one that I have on my list is to find someone who's living a non-student life this was easier for me because my mom's family lives here so I would have my cousins come pick me up or I would meet them for like a day in the weekend and we'd hang out um, or my grandparents would come and hang out with me or I'd hang out with them. Um, of course not everybody has this luxury but you can definitely make friends with people like outside of campus life whether it's from an activity or someone or just a stranger that you meet or maybe it's like someone that you've met on a platform um, or even just a student who has a more adult or like non-student life it can be so refreshing and i think that's what a lot of us students are missing because we hang out with people from all walks of life you know we hang out with our parents we hang out for, with our siblings or cousins or whatever um and they're not going through university and they're not going um, through the same sort of like fast-paced life that we get caught up in so it's really grounding to be around people who are just doing like normal daily life things um yeah, that's just really nice to like go around the shops with someone who doesn't have to like discuss the readings for the next class or just to eat a meal without having to think about homework because you know when even when you have great friends you still sort of like fall into that trap of discussing school again um, and yeah being with someone who is not a part of that life can really change it up and like I said, you can meet these people on non-campus based activities. So I would say to not limit yourself to things that are happening on campus. Um, there are so many things, of course, and that's also a great way to make friends, like to look at what um, clubs or student associations are doing and things like that, or like a little reflects and like, you know, culture talks and things like that. But um, look into things that don't include other students and look into things that don't just include um, student life because there's so much out there especially just like in the city in Nijmegen for example there's like dance classes and art lessons and things that are happening in like cinemas and uh, so many museums you know find a community that doesn't involve your university because your identity should involve more than just that um, next is to find a peaceful spot to ground you my peaceful spot is somewhere around the river that I live near. Um, if I need some time alone to think, I usually just go for like a quick jog, sometimes just a walk, or just sometimes I go on my bike. I love it when it's golden hour, um, and it can be really helpful. Yeah, oh. like it's not as easy when you live in a city, even in Nijmegen, which is a smaller city, but there are lots of places. Um, 
just parks and even like large landscapes which we have everywhere or even just in the suburbs like any area where light hits different for me always does the trick and it's just a great time to be alone and to just let yourself feel things sometimes you don't necessarily need to constantly talk about it and talk about how you're lonely or how you need people around you sometimes you just need to like sit in the sadness and the discomfort and nothing makes me cry more than nature so it might help to just like get it out of your system uh, the next thing I have on my list is to turn the loneliness into art um, this is definitely a very arts and culture kid thing to put on the list but I didn't even remember that I could literally pick up a guitar or pick up a ukulele or I don't know just start opening a word document and write something that's like literally sometimes all you need to do is journal but for adults you know or you can even still journal there's nothing wrong with that um, but even if you're not um, like artistically fluent um, as other people it's okay sometimes you just need to strum it out sometimes you just need to like dance around your room as small of a space it can be sometimes you just need to sing a song at the top of your lungs and it can be so cathartic cathartic that word um, it, yeah sometimes you just need to like get your creative juices flowing buy a really cheap like canvas i don't know at like action or sinos or whatever store is in town buy really cheap paint and just start painting or even start like drawing with random colored markers on paper just do something that will allow you to focus on something else but also channel the emotions that you're going through do it while listening to sad music do it while listening to happy music um a lot of things can help and next is to do something that reminds you of home for me it's usually eating home cooked meals i love going to indonesian restaurants um my favorite is the one in arnhem called wastari um, I also like to order from Pokorinos and yeah that one and then there's also Depaya in Elst so there are a few around Nijmegen area but there's also just in Nijmegen in general if you can't buy food you can always cook it you know go to the market go to the grocery store invite other people that might come from your part of the world or invite people who are completely outside of your part of the world and introduce them to your culture and if that doesn't work sometimes listening to music from your home country can help usually if you just type in like on spotify your country or whatever then or even just the language sometimes a whole playlist will come out and even if you don't recognize the songs it can help just to like hear something that's familiar for me i don't really listen to a lot of indonesian music i'm very particular in the artists that i listen to but even just pl listening to a random spotify playlist make me makes me feel like i'm back in like an uber and listening to the radio station and even that makes me feel better um next of course is to also listen or talk in your native language sometimes that's very very much needed and you don't realize that you're missing it until you're listening to something in your language for me i listen to podcasts by uh, indonesian um, comedians i find that really interesting and i also watch indonesian youtubers even if i had never watched them before sometimes it just comforts me to be around the language because you don't realize that it's such a big part of your life until you're not surrounded by it anymore especially if you don't speak dutch it's very very isolating to be constantly surrounded and to be constantly like bombarded with images that you don't understand um and i speak a little bit of dutch and sometimes it's still it's still overwhelming to just constantly be like trying to translate in my head and not completely getting it and it's a very frustrating process so it's nice to just come home and like decompress and completely understand something for once another thing is like also a tip of just making new friends especially if you're still first year uh, my biggest tip is to basically invite people to coffee dates or tea dates or whatever you're into um, if you like someone's vibe in class 
just ask them like what's up what are you doing after class you need to go home quickly would you like to have a drink with me at like the refter or at the sea cafe i think is what it's called at the gym uh i've done that a few times already and i'm only shocked of how great of a time it is i love making new friends even though i'm i think i'm completely horrible at it but thankfully i've met some pretty like outgoing people so if you sit next to a random person and you're immediately talking then go into the conversation of what are you doing later um if you hear someone that's always making like really smart comments in class or you think is really funny or you just like the way they speak up chances are they're also looking for a friend and chances are they're also very open i don't know anyone in university who isn't open so it's worth a shot and even if they turn you down it's completely okay you know it's not like it's high pressure or anything it's literally just tea or coffee so it could be a great way of making new friends and the last tip that I have, and probably the most important, is if you do have family waiting for you back home, if you have parents, if you have siblings, or whoever else um, that love you, uh, please do call them because time differences suck and we're all busy and, you know, we get caught up. Even like the people back home waiting for us to call also get caught up, but they're also missing you just as much as you're missing them. And even if you don't realize it, if you, even if you think you're like, oh, thank God I'm not with my family anymore. I can finally just do my own thing and be in my own space. Sometimes we forget that they actually are a huge part of our lives. And the reason why we're lonely is probably because we're not surrounded by them anymore. So give them a call. Even if it's just a 10 minute conversation with me and my brother, sometimes we just exchange memes and that's already a great time. So. I hope these tips will help you in some way and if you're going through loneliness, homesickness, trust me, I get you. We're all going through it constantly. It's a constant up and down movement. It's a roller coaster that never stops, honey, and I don't think it'll ever stop until we're like fully blown adults who are working full time and whatnot. So yeah, it's great to keep in touch with our homes and the life and the place that we're currently living as well. That's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!